everyone, my name is Rashmi. Welcome to my channel, Keep Calm and Crochet. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this cute little clownfish. If you're after a written pattern for this fish and many of my other patterns, then please follow the link in the description box below and become a member. For this tutorial, you're going to need orange, black and white standard double knit yarn, which I'm going to be working with 3mm crochet hook. You are also going to need 4mm size security teddy bear eyes, darning needle, stitch marker and some fibre fill. So make sure you've got all of those things and then let's get started. We're going to start off with our orange yarn. Let's go ahead and work a slip knot using whatever method you prefer. Slip your hook inside and chain two. One, two. Now to start round one, you're going to skip the first chain and work six single crochets in the second chain from your hook. Slip your hook in there, yarn over, pull up a loop, two loops on a hook, yarn over, pull through both. That's my first single crochet. We're going to work six of them all together. Here's third, fourth, fifth, and my sixth one. Once you have your six single crochets in a row, you're going to pull on this bit of yarn to eliminate the gap between your stitches. Now this brings your stitches nice and close together and you can start working in a spiral, so on top of your previous round. So we're going to slip our hook in the next, or the first single crochet of our previous round and we're going to work a single crochet in there. That's my first stitch of round two. Now from here I'm going to be working a single crochet in every one of these stitches. So you will have all together six single crochets to work. Here's my third, fourth, fifth and the final one, stitch number six. And once you've done this round you should still have a stitch count of six. From here you're going to be working the next round by starting in the next stitch so still working in a spiral so in the next stitch we're going to work two single crochets in that same stitch so that's my first one I'm going back into that same stitch to work my second one and that is called an increase so each time when i work two single crochets in the same stitch it's called an increase so in this round we will be working six increases all together. Here's my third increase. Fourth increase. Fifth and my final one. Increase number six. And there we go. Now, after this round, you should have a total of 12 single crochets here. And now we're going to start the next round. Let's turn it the right way around. There we go. And in the next round, you're going to work, work a single crochet in every one of these stitches. So all together, we'll have 12 single crochets in a row. Here's my first. I'm going to start using a stitch marker to identify the start of each of my rounds. So slip that in the first stitch of each round. Second. Third. Fourth. Fifth. Sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, and final one, number twelve. So now I have again twelve stitches because we have worked a single crochet in every one of these stitches. Now, starting the next round by working a single crochet in our first stitch. Stitch marker back in place and we're going to follow this single crochet on with an increase. 
So two single crochets in the same stitch. And here's your combination for this round. One single crochet followed on with an increase, single crochet increase and repeat that combination all the way around to the end. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 18. We're now going to start the next round by working a single crochet in our first stitch. Let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place. And you're going to follow this single crochet on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around. To finish this round, you will work 18 single crochets in a row. So go ahead and work that and meet me back here. After one round of single crochet, your stitch count should still be 18. We're now going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch. Stitch marker back in place. Follow this on with an increase in the next stitch. And we're going to have another single crochet followed on with that increase. And here's your combination for this round. One single crochet, increase, single crochet. Single crochet, increase, single crochet. Follow that combination and finish this round all the way till here. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 24. We're now going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch. Stitch marker back in place. And follow this single crochet on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around. You will need 24 single crochets in a row to finish this round. At the end of this round of single crochets, your stitch count is still 24. We're now going to start the next round with three single crochets in a row. Here's my first. Second. And third. Follow this on with an increase. So two single crochets in the same stitch. Now here's your combination for this round. Three single crochets in a row, followed on with an increase. And repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 30. Now we're going to work a slip stitch in the next stitch to finish off with this color for now, like this. And we're going to snip this yarn off. Pull this out of the stitch and pull this down to secure it in place. From here you're going to take a minute to insert some security eyes into the head of this little fish. So the stitch that you finished with make sure that's at the bottom and squeeze the rest of it to make it into a thin little shape like this. Now we're going to count six rounds over and we're going to be inserting these security eyes into the head between round six and seven. So here's round one, round two, three, four, five, six and seven. So between these two rounds, so I'm going to take the first eye, insert it on this side. There we go. And from here, we need to do the same thing on the other side. Let's go ahead and put the backing on first. And we need to make the eye symmetrical on the other side as well. So we need to find out how many stitches are there in between to get to the top here. So there's one, two, three, and then we've got the top. So we're going to count one, two, three, and that's where we're going to insert the other eye. So all together, you should have about six stitches in between the eyes. So open this up to see if you have inserted the eyes in the same round because that's very crucial. Yes, it looks like it. I'm going to double check at the back as well. Yeah. And once you're happy with the positioning, you're going to put the backing on to secure it in place. Now we're going to be moving on to black color and attaching it onto this head. To do this, I tend to connect the new color a few stitches before we are finished, but you can do this wherever you please. So pull this out of the stitch and give this a little knot in place. Thread this little tail is going to be just shoved inside and 
out of the way slip your hook back into that same stitch and pull up a loop and we're going to chain one here and we're going back into the same stitch to work our first single crochet now in this round I'm going to have a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around and all together you should have a total of 30 single crochets so go ahead and work that and meet me back here after one round of single crochets in black your stitch count should still be 30 we're going to work a slip stitch in the next stitch to finish off with this color and we're going to change it over to white so let's get rid of this one and grab our new color and I'm going to connect it at the base this time so pull it through the stitch chain one after that so we're going to slip our hook back in there pull up a loop chain one back into that same stitch we're going to work our first single crochet and just like this we're going to have one whole round of single crochets again but in this time we're going to be using white color so go ahead work a whole round of single crochets in white and then meet me back here at the end of this round your stitch count should be 30 still each time when you work a round of single crochets with a different color you're going to work a slip stitch to finish off snip this yarn pull it through the stitch and pull this down to secure it in place now following the same method you are going to go ahead and work three rounds of single crochet with 30 stitches in each you're going to be changing color after every round so you start off with the black work 30 stitches move on to orange and then finish off in black Go ahead, work these three rounds and then meet me back here. I've now finished my three rounds, one in black, in orange and black again. Now we're going to connect the white yarn onto these stitches. So do, do it exactly the same way. So slip your hook into any of the stitches, pull up your new yarn through. Give these two bits a little knot in place. Slip your hook inside, chain one, and slip your hook back in the same stitch and work a single crochet in that same space. Now from here, we're going to be following this single crochet on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around. You're going to follow the same method three times to have three rounds of just single crochet. So go ahead, work three rounds of single crochet and meet me back here. I've now finished working three rounds of single crochet in white. I'm now going to slip stitch in the next stitch. Slip this yarn off, pull it out of the stitch. And now from here, you're going to work four more rounds of single crochets. And you're going to be following this combination of colors. So we're going to have black, orange, black, white so four rounds of single crochet all in different colors so here are the colors again black orange black white so go ahead work four rounds of single crochet in those colors and then meet me back here i've now gone ahead and finished four rounds of single crochet in these colors now let's go ahead and attach orange color back on And now we are going to slip our hook in there, pull up a loop, chain one and a single crochet all in the same stitch. Follow this on with two more single crochets to make the total count to three. And we're now going to follow this on with a decrease. So when we're working a decrease, we're reducing two stitches down to one. To do this, you're going to slip your hook in the next stitch, pull up a loop, do the same with the stitch after that pull up a loop three loops on your hook yarn over and pull through all three in one go and here's your combination let's show you one more time three single crochets followed on with a decrease 
slip your hook in the next stitch pull up a loop do the same with the stitch after that pull up a loop three loops on your hook yarn over and pull through all three in one go go ahead and follow this combination and finish this round at the end of this round your stitch count should be 24 we're now going to start the next round by working our single crochet on top of our first single crochet so starting back to work in spiral here's my first single crochet I'm going to be using a stitch marker to identify the start of this round and now from here you're going to follow this single crochet on with one more to make the total count to two we're going to follow that on with a decrease so pull up a loop from the next two stitches three loops on your hook yarn over and pull through all three in one go and here's your combination for this round two single crochets followed on with a decrease two single crochets decrease all the way around at the end of this round your stitch count should be 18. we're now going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch followed on with a decrease pull up a loop from the next two stitches three loops on your hook yarn over pull through all three in one go stitch marker back in place now as you may notice that the space between these stitches is reducing with every single round so make sure to fill this up with some fiber fill and then finish this round and meet me back here at the end of this round your stitch count should be 12. we're now going to start the next round by working six decreases all the way around these stitches pull up a loop from the next two stitches three loops on your hook yarn over pull through all three and give this stitch a little pull so we can close the gap properly the next one this is my second decrease third decrease fourth decrease fifth decrease and the final one decrease number six and once we work that you will notice that there is a tiny little gap between these stitches if it's small enough you're going to slip your hook in the opposite stitch here and yarn over and pull up a loop make this loop go through the loop that was already on your hook so you've just worked a slip stitch here but if your gap seems to be a little larger than mine then you're going to use a darning needle to stitch that up with this orange yarn i'm going to snip this yarn off pull this out of the stitch and pull this down to secure it in place and there we go the body of this fish is now complete now on to the fins and for this i would suggest for you to leave a long tail like this and then work a slip knot using whatever method you prefer we're going to be using this bit of yarn to stitch this fin onto the body so make sure this this thread is quite long and from here you're going to chain six one two three four five six to start round one we're going to skip the first chain and work a single crochet in the second chain from your hook and we're going to do the same with all the rest of the stitches as well here's my second third fourth and the fifth one once you have your five single crochets in a row you're going to chain one turn your work around and you're going to follow the same thing here as well starting the first single crochet in the same stitch where the chain one is coming out from so slip your hook in there and work your first single crochet second third and fourth now just as you go to the last one you're going to slip your hook inside pull up a loop and that's where we're going to stop we're now going to change the color over to black to do this you're going to snip this yarn off and grab the black color 
I'm going to hold this in place and give these two tail ends a little knot in place. You can use a different method if you prefer to change the color, but I prefer doing this because by doing this you will um, stitch the ends in, in the same time at the same time as working these stitches. So it works out quite nicely. So you're going to take these two tail ends that we've just knotted together and hold them across the top. So let's just get, it, get them out of the way for now. Yarn over and then now we're going to be pulling this black yarn through the two loops. And that finishes our two rounds in orange. If you turn your work around now and chain one, you're going to hold these two bits of yarn across the top while working these stitches. And this way they will get worked into the top here and you won't have to um, work your ends in in the end. So hold it on the side, we're going to work five single crochets in black as well. So one, holding it across the top, two, three, And the last one, number five. And these ends that are sticking out, you can just go ahead and snip them. Chain one, turn your work around, and in this one, we're going to work an increase followed on with a few single crochets and increase in the last stitch as well. So let's go ahead, work an increase, which means two single crochets in the same stitch, followed on with one two and three single crochets and in the last stitch here you're going to work and increase again one two we're going to chain one to finish off go ahead and snip this yarn off pull it out of the stitch pull this down to secure it in place let's go ahead and snip these bits of yarn off And now I can use a darning needle to work just one end in and this one here we're going to be using to stitch it onto the body. So go ahead, use the same method one more time and create another one of these. Now onto the tail and for this you're going to have a long thread and then work a slip knot using whatever method you prefer. Slip your hook inside and chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Skip the first chain and work four single crochets across the top. One. This can be a bit fiddly. Two. Three. And the last one, four. Once we've done our four single crochets on the top, we should be right at the end of this row chain one to turn your work around and we're going to work an increase two single crochets and increase starting with the same stitch where the chain one is coming out from so that's two single crochets in the same stitch one single crochet one single crochet and again two single crochets from the same stitch there we go, this brings us to the end of round, row two. Chain one, turn your work around, and in this one you're going to work a single crochet in the first stitch, a double crochet in the second. To do this you're going to yarn over, slip your hook in the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Now in the next two stitches we're going to be working a treble. Treble crochet you're going to yarn over your hook twice like this, slip your hook in the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, four loops on your hook this time, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Let's show you one more time, yarn over twice, slip your hook in the next stitch, pull up a loop, four loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. 
Now in the next stitch, we're going to work a double crochet. Yarn over, slip your hook in there. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two, and then last two. And there we go. The last stitch will have a single crochet in there. Now when you're working this, you're going to pull up a loop. And from here, we're going to be changing the color over to black. So go ahead and snip your yarn. Grab hold of your new color. And just like last time, we're going to turn it upside down and give these two tail ends a little knot in place. And there we go. Once you've done that, you're going to move them at the back and yarn over with the black yarn onto your hook and pull it through the two loops that you had on your hook. From here, turn your work around actually chain one first and then turn your work around because it makes it easier and pull these two tail ends across the top and hold them while you're working your next row. So slip your hook in the first stitch which is right here and we're going to work an increase in here. So working two single crochets in that same stitch. Moving to the next stitch and do the same thing. So working an increase in every one of these stitches all the way to the end. You should have six increases. Third increase. Fourth increase. Fifth increase. And the final one, increase number six. And once you've worked those, you're going to chain one. And let's go ahead and snip this yarn off. Pull it out of the stitch. Pull this down. Go ahead and snip these two extra bits. And using a darning needle, go ahead and work this end in and then onto the assembly after that. Now onto the assembly and for this, let's go ahead and thread your darning needle with a bit of yarn coming out of the fin. And you're going to be attaching that on both sides and we're going to be doing that in the, this orange round. So, so hold the fin in place with the black bit facing towards the eye and stitch it together with the body. You're going to do the same thing on the other side with the other fin and finish off by attaching the tail at the bottom of the fish. Go ahead and do that and meet me back here. Now I've finished the assembly and this is what the finished fish looks like. If you enjoyed making this clownfish with me, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.